What's up, YouTube, and welcome back to another episode of Top Plays. Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, subscribe. Please push that freaking button, ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't done it yet, and if you have watched more than one video on this channel, or if you really enjoyed this video, then come on, guys, a little subscription doesn't hurt anyone, and it brings us closer to 60,000. That means we do have a chance. Well, not a chance. You have a chance to win something. I will do another giveaway on 60,000. So you can participate in that. You can help that with that. But what we're doing today is to have a closer look again on the American Frontier update. We already did. Must have common, must have uncommon, must have rare, must have super rare. So what's next? Obviously, must have ultra rare. And we do have an interesting selection there of American Frontier. I can just show you what I have and then we obviously will go into the whole selection. There are currently 30, 30 ultra rares from American Frontier. I got seven. Fortunately, I got a double there. Got a duplicate, the 300C Hemi. I got three I'm very happy about. Um, and then one where I'm fine and two where I'm like eh. So I'm going to tell you what it is. So, all cars, there we go. <coughs> like I said, we got 30 different ultra rares and we do have different selections here, absolutely interesting ones. But um, let's talk about a few ones of them and I wanna highlight a few just to give you an idea. All right, so I think let's go with the ones I do have and where I do know that they definitely are going to be useful, all surface tires. Um, the Ford Edge Sport and the Acura RDX, both of them, really guys, if you get them, please don't fuse them. You want to keep those bad boys. And um, especially the Ford Edge Sport is on the edge, I would say on the edge of actually going epic. If this car would have high ground clearance, I would say this goes epic because of high ground clearance or of medium ground clearance. It's not, it has issues with motocross challenges, has issues with hill climb, something like this. And that's why the Acura RDX is a perfect addition to the all surface team. If you got the Ford Edge Sport and the Acura RDX, you are set regarding any dirt challenges in the ultra rare section or just in general for American Frontier. So those two cars can highly recommend you the Ford Edge and the Acura RDX. Then another car, which unfortunately I do not have, is the Dodge Challenger SRT392, muscle car and American Frontier. If you upgrade this bad boy, you can go up to, first of all, it has a 77 mid range. And it can go down as low as 3.6 seconds, 0 to 60, and 91 in handling. Plus, it comes with a decent amount of top speed. And unfortunately, it's low, so beware of any speed bumps. But I'm telling you guys, this is a must-have car. If you don't have this car, and you feel like you still want to build up a muscle car from that section, you do have choices. I mean, I do have the Dodge Challenger as a T8, which is losing in any kind of stat against the bad boy against the SRT 392. Um, in between, we have two cars which could kind of like a little bit be competitive in that direction. We got the Dodge Challenger Concept and we got the Dodge Challenger SRT 8. Um, why not? Why not building those up as well if you have one of them? I would not recommend you to fuse too many super rares in those cars um, as long as you don't have the SRT 392 because that one is just winning everything against those guys and that's why guys if you have one of those yeah build it up why not and don't forget here we have an extra tag we got american frontier muscle car and concept that is a little bit of an advantage um, compared to those two however in the end this one is winning on almost anything against those guys so that about the muscles then we have a nice and twisty right which I can highly recommend you if you go actually just here, you will see it right away. We have a few ones here, but I wanna, I definitely wanna bring this one up. Seriously guys, 53 RQ. I mean, it's because, it's most likely because of the low top speed, but you don't build up this car because of the top speed. No, you wanna build this car because it's just as twisty as it could be. And on a 3-2-3 upgrade, 
you can go low at 3.9 seconds here to 60 and 93 in handling that is pretty decent mid-range is around 63 is not amazing it's definitely not amazing but um you don't buy this car because or you don't build up this car because you want to go up on the on the on the drag strip or on the test ball or something like this with 120 top speed there are cars in the common uncommon area which could beat this one and um but dodge circuit oh yes please slalom test please twisty circuit i'm ready with this car so you want to build up this car as fast as possible then obviously we have here we have two Acuras, the Acura NSX from 2002 and the 1991. Simple as that, the NSX, if you get it, it's a 63 RQ car, it says a lot. And if you build it up, seriously guys, you go. And four seconds flat, zero to 60. 95 in handling, oh boy. And 74 mid range, plus it goes up to our top speed as 185. Pretty good all-rounder. Absolutely happy about this. If it would come with medium ground clearance, I would say this car is epic. But it comes as low and actually when you look at it, it should be low. So that is fine. But yeah, we got a couple twisty challenges. We got a couple chargers. Wow, speaking about a charger, we got two cars, which I definitely want to put to your heart. Um, it is more about the 0 to 60 challenge. And here we go. One I do have, one I don't have yet. The Dodge Charger 3 Muscle Car Concept American Frontier 3. Three tags. As many, if you get more tags, more is always better. So you can use the car in more challenges. So the Dodge Charger 3 has 85 mid range. So you want to go with the 332 with this one because the handling is not really that nice. But 51 RQ. Low RQ saver, I like that, I like that a lot. And it's a specialist, it's a specialist. 155 top speed, obviously 85, so it's uh, it's still good, it's still good. If you build it up 332, you can go with 3.4 seconds, 0 to 60, and 74 in handling. Pretty nice, pretty decent, but actually the creme de la creme is this car, the Dodge Charger Daytona. Um, there are several reasons why you want to build this bad boy up. First of all, first of all, this bad boy comes if with 90 mid-range, whoo, then second, we got a decent amount of top speed. I mean, it's always great when you have a lot of mid-range, but the top speed is really low. Uh, Honda Clarity, I'm looking at you. And um, it comes with a decent amount of top speed. And if you go with a 332 with this bad boy, 3.8 seconds, 0 to 60. That's just a little bit slower than the Charger 3, but we got more mid-range and we got 73 handling. Again, a little bit less handling than the Charger 3. So I could absolutely recommend both of them, but and here comes the, the, the cherry on top of the ice cream. The Dodge Charger Daytona not only comes with American Frontier, it comes with an in the shadows tag as well. And this is something, guys, you wanna you wanna focus a lot on. Because we just had the Christmas collection tag. And then the shadows will be the next challenge coming up. So if you look at that, if you look at American Frontier, if you look at Ultra, you wanna check out in the shadows. And here we have. Okay, why he's doing that? Okay. I don't know why he's dropping that Donker Ward. That's absolutely not an American Frontier car. Okay, well, never mind. Never mind what he's showing you here. This guy, okay, he's not doing... Okay, he's not doing that. All right. However, there are a few cars which do have an In the Shadows tag. You can figure it out yourself as well. I can tell you one car, absolutely. Um, if you do just like this. A car which I can recommend as well is uh, by the way the chrysler 300 seat like sheer edition very nice four-wheel drive standardized great however it is a price car so not that easy to get but there is another car where is it where did i see it no i just there we go the chrysler citadel Four-wheel drive, standardized, 63 RQ, 5.80 to 60, 73 handling, <laughs> medium ground clearance. You see, it just it doesn't stop. American Frontier and in the shadows. 
seriously range range challenges come at me bro if you have this car this is the car you want to keep absolutely and, and doesn't matter if it has the in the shadows that's just a cherry on top the car is just great itself already it's a great all-rounder great specialist absolutely can recommend you on top of that you still have the acura zdx as well Again, comes with four-wheel drive and standardized high ground clearance, however. So, just in case, if, you, if you're if lacking any old surface cars or off-road cars, you can still try the Acura ZDX. ZDX and, um, yeah, unfortunately not with an in-the-shadows tag. So, over that, I would always take the Crisis Citadel. Then, let's speak about two cars which are in this selection here, which are just very unique. And here we have the Ford Bronco concept, obviously which you want to build up if you get it because it's one of the few off-roaders there and um, yeah specialist absolutely and i think the the people who have like one or two of those rides will definitely make make a killing in upcoming challenges where they finally not only drop us a lot of dry asphalt tracks so american frontier concept the concept tag is a tag which um long time uh, top drive users do know that this tag is barely, if it ever has been really in use. Uh, so the concept tag is there. I really hope one day they really use this for a nice challenge. I'm waiting for the day. But Ford Bronco concept and on top of that obviously, but you can't really get it yet, the Dodge Avenger Rally Sedan. Motorsport American Frontier, nice stats, really nice stats, medium ground clearance nice handling nice zero to 60 really in general a nice looking car really uh, just top speed is a bit low but i mean you don't really get this car because you want to win a one mile drag dirt challenge no this car is made for twisty circuit dirt slalom test dirt anything like that the dodge avenger rally sedan is ready ladies and gentlemen that is my selection of ultra rares from the american frontier update do you agree with that? Is there a car which you are using and you feel like CMG, everybody should know about this. This car is a killing machine. Let me know down below in the comment section. I want to hear which car of those cars do you have already? As, um, as you see, I'm still lacking a few. I'm, I got lucky with the Ford Edge Sport and the Acura RDX, but I'm still waiting for the Dodge Challenger SRT 392. I would love the Chrysler Citadel and if I can, take one more wish i either go for the ford bronco or i would love the dodge circuit ev one of those definitely because i got the dodge charger daytona i'm fine with not having the dodge charger 3 but obviously later i wouldn't mind as well but those are just like my top wishes ladies and gentlemen hope you enjoyed today's episode let me know down below if you want to see anything else about top twice about this update wish you a pleasant day that was a casual mobile gamer and i'm 